Well, a lot of you have been enjoying this milder weather, and we're going to get more of it over the next few days. In fact, on Wednesday, that'll be our warmest day. It could come close to 70 degrees in many locations, and we keep it in the 60s through the rest of the week, even though Thursday, Friday, that's when we'll have that chance for some rain. So we'll outline that coming up in a second on Future Track. And then temperatures will begin to dip this weekend, but nothing crazy for this time of year. That's actually normal for February. And then they start to shoot right back up. So we are definitely in a warmer phase. We had a really cold phase for a while there too, and that's just kind of how the, the balance goes. Temperatures though will still be very chilly in the mornings. 34 in Asheville, 34 in Spartanburg, 37 in Greenville, and 35 for Greenwood to start the day. As we go throughout the day in the Greenville area, you can see we've got a few clouds over downtown, uh, but nothing that's going to produce any rain. Just partly cloudy, maybe mostly cloudy at times, but look at those temperatures, 60s. It's going to feel so nice outside. Sun going down should still be a pretty one, but we'll be obscured by a few more clouds. And then heading into your evening, mostly cloudy, 55 around 8 o'clock tomorrow night. So your next big thing, it is our rain chance increasing. And at this point, we'll see some extra clouds Tuesday and Wednesday, but the main show when we get the rain is going to come on Thursday into Friday. This doesn't look like a blockbuster rain, and the timing for this could be pretty good, as in we're going to be spared for our morning commute Thursday morning. The showers will still be out to the west. They're going to take their time getting here. We're going to see them on top of us as we get into around Five, four, five, six o'clock with some of the heaviest downpours overnight so that by the time we wake up Friday morning, it's clearing out. But the issue is we're going to see this hang out to our south. It's all along the frontal boundary. It's not going to move much. So it'll actually help to send a little more moisture northward through the day Friday before it can finally pull eastward. So around 4 p.m. Friday, we could have a few downpours around Columbia, and then up towards Charlotte, just some light uh, shower activity around the upstate. Doesn't look like a big rain chance, but enough to be a slightly disruptive to your Friday evening. And then as we go into Saturday, the snow takes over in the mountains. It should be a good snow along the Tennessee line, over two to four inches possible. But that'd be in the high mountain locations, Asheville, Hendersonville. You could see a few passing light snow showers out of this one. And that would be early Saturday morning, and then it would all start to taper off so that we have some quiet weather by Saturday night and then for the big game on Sunday. So let's recap the next seven days. We've got mostly sunny conditions and mild for Wednesday with high near 70 degrees. And then on Thursday, a 60% chance for rain. So that's gonna be our best chance, uh, but there's still gonna be a decent shot on Friday. Best chance will be the farther south you live. When we talked about that system, it's gonna settle to our south. So the better chance for rain will be down toward Columbia, but those of you around Greenwood, Elberton, Abbeville, Lawrence, Union, you'll have the best chance of getting some of those heavier downpours on Friday. But then it all clears up for the weekend, so we'll have a finally two weekends in a row where we don't have to deal with any uh, showers or storms, anything like that. And then temps will begin to warm back up into next week, but just seasonably cool for Saturday and Sunday. In the mountains, we're looking ahead to beautiful weather for Tuesday and Wednesday, some occasional clouds, but then scattered showers are back in the forecast on Thursday and a lower rain chance on Friday as most of that rain will be to the south. But Friday night and Saturday, we could see some decent snowfall. That's going to be mainly in the high mountain locations. But a couple of uh, flurries or a quick snow shower will be possible in Asheville. Clearing up, though, by the late part of Saturday into Sunday. And then Monday, starting to warm right back up. But of course, we'll keep you posted. Be sure to download the First Alert Weather app uh, to stay up to date on all of this weather coming our way. Scan the QR code on your screen. It's a great way Again, to stay posted on the weather, but also other things going on. We were talking about that green comet and how to view it on our app as well. So uh, scan the code and get it for free.